Hey, good morning to everyone and I hope you have a good weekend today. I uh, bring the special version of the radio chart uh, today a little bit in advanced uh, level. Um, basically in my screen you can see I have the um, radio chart for the 12 months of the year and you have the sales of two years it, uh, um, and then uh, with the sales of two years uh, every month you can compare right you can have a comparison between um, this year and previous year right? basically that the, just a simple idea in order to put that in the in the radar chart so how to do this one actually I have two components is one the, the inside we see the sales uh, divided by 12 months for two years and then we have the outside and then we put all together so I will go one by one um, visualization in order to show you so the first one I go into the, the inside of the radar chart right? Before uh, we create the radar chart, so I have four elements um, um, for the preparation. The first one is the angle. We see uh, how many angles of the radar chart. But before I do that, uh, I, I have the... Um, um, I want to print uh, the 12 months, you know, from the month uh, calculated field. So basically, the, 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 the formula to print the January, February, March, April, May, June, July, until December, uh, the, the simple formula is date name, and then they cut the part of the order day and they take the month apart only. Right? So actually, after this formula, we have 12 months. Um, here, I had the first one is the angle. Right? So you see, we want to uh, get the 12 angles uh, in order to create a radar for the 12 um, elements, 12 months. So the formula is 2 pi, we see 360 degrees divided by 12 months. Right? So you have the, um, the count uh, distinguished of the month. So you have actually uh, when it month is running, so we have the 12 months here. And then this part of the uh, formula to uh, to help us uh, to bring to December and uh, the top and back to the top, okay. And um, uh, I have the X and Y uh, axis uh, uh, creation. This is basically very mathematical uh, formula. So if you remember, you know how to um, do uh, how to uh, create the um, uh, the one. Uh, um, one light of the triangle uh, is about the um, about this uh, radio and multiply with the cos of the angle. Right? Um, I forgot to mention about the distance to the angle. We see just the sum of sale. This is actually just the radius of the uh, of the radar of the side, of the circle. Uh, and then similar for the y axle, so it is um, about this, uh, the radius. We see the distance from the uh, point to the center and multiply with the size of the uh, angle. We see the trail angles, right? Okay, and then um, we print that into the visualization to see how it looks like. So first thing I print month into because I want um, these uh, trail angles by month. And then I bring the angle into, and then in the angle, it's uh, I use the, the table formula by month. Right? And then I print this x column, or y column into. Actually, you can see here a couple of dots appear here. Right? This uh, the picture on the background is basically is, uh, that because I pre created that, like I shared with you from the beginning here, uh, uh, but I can hide. Right? I can hide. Right now, and I can show it later. So here, I just, uh, I just move it. Yeah. Okay. And I uh, so now um, I will uh, change that. Uh, I will change that to the uh, polygon. And then I print the angle into the pad, and that create. So now I bring the year in in order to show the sales. Uh, 
of uh, two years, right? So I print uh, the um, order date in here, and then I go to here, and then I can show two years. Um, I think I print that into color to uh, differentiate uh, the two angles, uh, the two years. So I put here, right? so you can see actually this is okay. So this is this is uh, 2021, and this is 2020. Right? Okay. Um, now I go into the uh, <coughs> axis. I put it uh, maximum sales. Yeah. One hundred twenty k. And the same for the uh, x axis. Axis is one hundred twenty k. One hundred twenty k. Okay. Right. So I want to create a dot here with the uh, label in here. Right? So what I'm going to do is um, I do the two axis. Hmm? I create a second one. On the second one, that's um, um, on the second chart, I will uh, I cut the month out. I first thing I convert it to the let's uh, say circle. Right? So we have circle here. Um, the border, so I can do the border like this. Back here as well. I think it's uh, back to the first one. I think I want to make the border uh, look, look nice. Yeah? Okay. Um, I can make the side a little bit here. Yeah. Right. And I can bring the sales into here. So we see. I bring the sale into the label. Okay. Uh, to make the label softer, so let uh, let format um, the uh, the sales. So let go into the format. Yeah, I think it uh, that make this number custom, and then move it to the uh, thousand. So now the number looks on the, which uh, look good. Um, I think it, uh, I can remove uh, all of the the light in here. So we see none, none in the column as well. None, none. Okay, okay. Uh, let's bring it. Uh, together two axis you are very familiar and then synchronize right so now we have the first one right. uh, let's print the picture uh, put in a, a cradle angle pictures now this is what I uh, look into this uh, Google and then I download it so I have it here I think it that much it uh, the same size at the sale. So, case, 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 and then one hundred thousand. Right. Let print the um, the, the uh, let me let's focus into the cycle on the background. Let uh, watch it out a little bit. Like that. Yeah, looks okay. You can see it. If you want to see the light in here as well, let's go back to the uh, yeah, just reduce the opacities of the same, so you can see actually the light on the background. So, okay, um, look good. Uh, let's remove the, the headers. All right. So now I need to create the outside. Right. So the outside here, the outdoor is uh, which is uh, um, let duplicate this one and. Uh, what we can do 
to let bring this one I want to bring the own point here go to the max so I create the max x we see the um, this one is changing because the max at uh, the distance of the center right so now I create the first one I create a max distance of center I use 120,000 max fixed and then I use the same formula it is just the max distance of the center we see the radio uh, and uh, multiply with the cost of the angle so similar last one but we just change the max distance just to bring the owner point uh, on the x uh, on the edge of the um, of the line of the radio here so let's print it down put the max in print it down put the max in so now we can have these um, 12 angle uh, radio right okay and we cannot with the polygon we cannot put the label we see the month here so let's move it to convert it to uh, uh, maybe text I think I create another one. The want I keep the text in order to put the month in here. Another one, I think let's put the uh, the first one it I put that circle. All right. To put one I uh, no, the first one here, I put it circle. Right, into a circle. And I put the color of the circle. All right. to my design here yeah. now get the border yeah. right it look okay and yeah, this look okay you can change the color what you like the red color if you like mm. okay and on the second chart here, um, I think it's equal to the text. Yeah, you can put a text here and you uh, do a it, it's okay. But I think the simple way is no need to do this one. We just put the sales in the label, right? And we, oh, not the sales, sorry, that should be the should be the month right okay so we have it yeah if you want to bring that to the um, to the uh, you know on top of the circle or you mean it, it look okay right so if you want to arrange it a little bit you can do that this way you can change the color right? Red color and on the alignment here, you can put it on top here. Yeah. Okay, uh, I back to the I back to the circle here. I think it's I want it to red color. It would be nice. Red, red, red. Red here, yeah, okay. Red color. Okay, and then I will remove uh, the um, header. So now we have outside and inside. Right? What we can do now is we create a dashboard. And then the first thing is magic floating and we print 
d outside here. This one. Yeah. And then you can print the inside into Can I change it to uh, make it look look better, right? Then you can hide the title. Yeah. Here, one thing you can do is you can hide the border as well, right? Uh, let's go back here and then go here, and if anything here, you can. Not, 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 okay. It's okay. Oh, we still have the row. Here, so you can now you can see you you have this um, the um, what you want on the. Um, radio uh, charts right. and then now you can change the title here right so, ch 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 right the radio chart radio chart okay um I hope you enjoy uh, you enjoy the tip today, and um, this is this is uh, um, I think it's uh, the good way to to uh, create the radio chart. And um, if you uh, have a, a better way or any way to, to create a, the radio chart, please feel free to share. Uh, uh, we learned together. Okay, and enjoy your weekend. Bye bye.